to color my Italian buttercream icing, I am using a warm brown, a gold, a green, and also at the end I'm going to use a regal purple. And I am warming up a tiny bit of it in the microwave and then adding the color and then once it's added to the microwaved bit I can add it back to my base icing and I just keep doing that over and over until I get the right shade it's kind of hard to get it as dark as I want it um, the first time so you just do it as many times as you need to I already have my cake filled sculpted and crumb coated so now I am just final coating it it's pretty easy to sculpt it's just a rectangle with rounded sides and it kind of uh, tapers in at the bottom. So I cover the top first and then smooth it out and then I add it on the sides and then I'll take my bench scraper, go around and that first pass will show me where I have some low spots and then I can add in some more icing and go back in with my bench scraper and keep going around until it's nice and smooth. I apply a bit of icing to my board, pop my cake on there, chill it just for about 10 minutes to make sure it's stuck to my board. Then I can cut out my sugar sheet. I just found some images online, cropped them in Word, sized them in Word, and then printed them on sugar sheets. And now I'm just cutting them out. Use a little bit of water to adhere it to the cake. And you may not even need it depending on how warm your cake is. If it's warmed up a little bit, it should stick without any water. So I'll put the front label on and then I'll put the back label on and then I'll pop it back in the fridge to chill a little bit. The way I went about making the lip of the top was just rolling out that same color fondant. I just colored some fondant the same color I colored my buttercream and I'm snaking it out and then adding some texture to it using a ruler and a ball tool to kind of get it to do what I want it to do. An easier way would to be to make a mold of the butter tub that I'm kind of going off of and then push my fondant into it. Um, but that's not, I didn't have that, so I just um, did it this way. And I'm just making a little template for the top so I can um, make the lid and apply the lip of the lid. Now I'm going to put the lid that I made on the cake and I just did that bottom part of the lid because I'm going to have it propped open. So I'm just kind of getting it where I want it, smoothing it out and I put a little bit of a wad of plastic wrap there to hold that lip open. And now I'm just making the second part of the lid since it's kind of got a step up on it. So that's all I'm doing here. Once I get it snaked out and shaped, I'm going to pull the cake back out and put it on the top and use my fingers and my ball tool and my other fondant tools to kind of get it to look the way I want it to look. You can buy piping gel. I just happened to make mine because I didn't have any. I don't typically use it and it's just cornstarch and water thickened up over heat. So I did that and I colored it to the color I wanted it. And then I also made some peas and let them dry. I made them with fondant. So I'm gonna pipe the gel on here and then put my peas in and kind of mix them around so the juice and the peas are all mixed together. 